Hey, How everybody. Are you doing I'm Waylon. Jason. And uh, again, just want to remind everybody that very soon we are going to be playing Street Fighter the Miniatures game. Still waiting on that one. But tonight we are going to play Unmatched again. The uh, new Buffy the Vampire Slayer expansion. Um, this is the very latest one, right? Yeah, this is the newest one. This, this one came out how long ago? I want to say within just the last few weeks. It's pretty new. All right, cool. So uh, just to like give everybody a quick rundown, uh, I'm going to be playing Angel uh, with Faith as my sidekick. And it looks like Jason is going to be playing Willow, Willow, who has Terra as a sidekick. So uh, I guess we'll just dive right in. I'll get I us am. started. Oh. We already drew our five cards. Ready yeah, to go. We're, we drew. We're ready to go. Uh, the map we're playing on is Sunnydale High, which looks like a pretty cool map. A lot of like places to run and hide, so it should be kind of interesting. Uh, I'll give starting a quick... as good Willow, but anyway. uh, yeah, and I'll give a quick rundown of our character abilities here. So Angel, uh, if after Angel or Faith attacks, if I attack and I lose the combat, I get to draw a card. And then uh, Jason's ability as Willow, uh, when Willow or Terra is dealt damage, Willow becomes Dark Willow. And at the end of your turn, if Dark Willow is adjacent to Terra, she becomes Willow. And then I guess uh, there's a little, like red symbol on the bottom of your cards. We'll get to it as the game shows up. Mm -hmm. And when you're Dark Willow, you also activate that extra text. All so right, she's then. stronger when she's Dark Willow. All right. And then, oh, yeah, and then, yeah, again, if, if you start the turn adjacent to your sidekick, you turn back into regular Willow. Okay, uh, I'll, I'll lead us off here. So, hmm. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to go ahead and maneuver, so I'll draw a card. Move two. And what else? What else? Hmm. So you have to take two actions. It's not you. There's no passing in this game. So. Hmm. They each move the two. same amount. Yeah. And you, you, my characters move too, and so do yours. So that, that'll be easy to remember. Mm. Uh, hmm. I'll just get right up in there. Hey, hey what's folks. up, buddy? How, How you doing that? over there? Oh, my God. And uh, that was two actions. It's your turn. Uh, Tara will attack Faith. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> oh, yeah. It, oh, no, no. You only draw uh, before you maneuver. Oh, that's before right. You move. Just for the yeah. Sorry. Remember, uh, just to recap real quick, because it's been a while since we played. Uh, yeah, it's all right. You, you have two actions per turn, and you have to take both actions. You can't pass. The actions are uh, a maneuver, which is you draw a card, and then you can move any or all of your characters. Mm -hmm. uh, there's attack, which you just play an attack card, and then if I want, I can play a defense card. Uh, so there's attack, and then uh, scheme, which is the one with the lightning bolt, which is you just do whatever the card says. Okay, so uh, you're going to attack me then, right? Yep. Uh, and you put your card up there. Just... How's that? Can you see uh, that? Okay. One attack. Okay, uh... and then I will play... Um... Well, actually, you should. we should have played that face down. Do you want to redo? Because I've seen your card. We should play them face down and then reveal them both and then... Yeah, P pull it back. You can do something else if you want. Just so play it face down, and then we'll re reveal them at the same time. So you're attacking me. You do want to attack me, right? Um, let's see. Yes, we. Well, if if you drew a card, then you'll have. Then that counts as a maneuver. So. Well, no, I just got a fresh card because we used that one. Oh, I would say just put it in your hand and play a different card or well, whatever. That's fine. I'm a deck. That's fine. Just, okay. Yeah, just put it. Oh, so that's the attack. That's card. the attack card. All right, uh, and you're and it's still 
Terra. Yeah, and you're attacking, uh, you're attacking Terra Faith. Terra is Faith, yeah. Okay. Play this one, so... Uh, I'll let you just be the flipper. Sure, and I'll do read the, the text for, for the folks at home, I will read the text. So he attacked me with a three. Uh, rending shot. Three damage. After combat, doesn't matter because I played a cancel. Mm. Um... So it looks like I take one damage to fake. Yay. Oh, wrong way. Always turn the dial the wrong way. There we go. Okay, did you do anything before you attacked me, or was that your first that action? That was my first action. Okay, so you got another one then. Okay. Ooh, let's see here. And if you have any rules questions, just go ahead and ask. I think I've got it. I think I remember everything. Um... You know what? I'll move. You can move them both if you want. When you maneuver, you get to move everybody. And she moves too? Yeah. You don't have to move them both, but you can. I'm coming for you. Huh. All right, that's it. And that'd be the two turns. Where's her flute? I don't know. It's in her pocket. Mm -hmm. She's wearing a hoodie. It could be anywhere. Um, this is an American Pie the Games. <laughs> okay, let's see. So. We'll maneuver here. Classic pincher maneuver here. Oh my goodness. And for my Water second one. Do, do, do. I got I got my attack. Just play your defense face down, and then we'll reveal them. Oh, forgot to uh, discard. I'll make this your discard pile there today. So if you want to just play it, you can play it over here or whatever. It'll be gotcha. fine. All right, defense. We ready? All right, let's see what we got. Ooh, man, that's some. That's a heavyweight heavy defense. defense. I think. I think that might be the the highest the highest five. Yeah, huh? I don't think we've ever seen a defense card I that don't high. Think the she's she's kind of like idea, a guys. she's a solid defensive character. Then, um, okay. Well, I didn't hit you, but after combat, I can move my fighter to any other space in their zone. No, so stay close. I think what I'm gonna do is gang up on Terra. Yeah. So stick and move. So then we'll discard. Discard. If I moved an attack, I think it's uh, I think it's you. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Well, oh, just seeing if we missed anything. Wait, was that two turns? Or you don't... Yeah, I moved and then I attacked, right. so you're good. It's your turn. Okay. Um. Kara will attack Angel. Kara's hit Angel. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm ready. We're ready to go. Mm. Ooh. So after combat, I'm the defender, so my after combat resolves first. Looks like you deal me a damage. That's the angel, right? Mm -hmm. So I win? Yeah, you won the combat. Yeah, I get to choose a card in my discard pile. Is that what it says? Oh, but not yet. Right? I have to do my after combat. The oh. defender always goes first. Anytime two things happen at the same time, the defenders goes first. All right. So if I lost the combat, the opposing fighter takes one damage. Who was it who attacked me? It was, it was Terra. Terra. So Terra's going to take a damage. Kind of interesting. Uh, Angel has like a lot of like uh, cards it looks like that give him a bonus when he loses a fight. Well, I guess it's because he can't hurt him. Because he's angst-ridden. There you go. And then, uh, and yours is, if you won the combat, choose a card in your discard pile and put it back in your hand. So you can take so one. I, I should take this one. That's yeah, that's a pretty one. solid card. Yeah, that's a good one. Yeah. And then the defense. 
And then, uh, so what, how many moves was that, Jay? All right, just... that was just one. Um, let's see. And let me discard them. Let's forget to do that. And then I will. Oh, it's only, oh yeah, it's, yeah. You're good. Thanks for pointing that out because she actually took damage. It's whether it's from an attack or an effect. Uh, so now you're Dark Willow. So uh, any any time you see that symbol on a card, mm -hmm. you you do that as well. So. All right. So I took the card and I'll move. Uh... Are you doing a maneuver? Yeah. You attacked and then you're gonna mm -hmm. make it. Okay. So you drew. Okay. Okay. So are you gonna move? Uh, are you gonna move Terra? No, I'll keep her. Leave her there. Yeah. Okay. My turn then, huh? Oh, at the end of your turn, if Dark Willow is adjacent to Terra, she becomes Willow, and they're adjacent to each other, so you're going to turn back to regular Willow. Keeping track of it. Yeah. I. They're new characters. We're new to this set, so... It's okay. Uh, let's see. Well, I think I'm gonna for my first move. I'm just gonna go ahead and play. Uh, I'm gonna play a scheme. I'm gonna play. Faith is gonna play a scheme card. I'll just show it to everybody at home. It looks like Killer of the Dead. Deal two damage to one opposing fighter adjacent to Faith. Um, so I could do either one. I think I'm gonna. Try to. Hmm. I'm almost wondering if it would be worth it to just try to knock out your sidekick real quick. I think I will. Oh. Terrorizing. So that's my first move. I like those schemes because you can't defend against them. Mm, sure. Uh. Dark yeah. Dark Thank you. You're gonna have to remind me. I'll probably forget a bunch. So. Just the Dark Willow reminder. Yeah, guys. thank you. That's your, that is your gameplay role. Thank you, Jeff. <laughs> it's keeping us on point. Uh, <laughs> let's see. And then I guess I'll make an attack. <laughs> um... You can easily turn this into a How I Met Your Mother game. This can be huge. <laughs> hey, Barney. Yeah, I'm going to go get something. You know, that, you, know you, you joke, but it, would, it, would, it, right now, would you like even that. be shocked if there was a How I Met Your Mother unmatched expansion at this point? There needs point? to be like a, uh, like a token character game like from the shows. Like, you know, like, like you got like a Balky and you got Urkel. You got a, uh, you got a, uh, um, got Andy Kaufman from Taxi. All just kidding, Kramer. Just all of like the. Uh... Uh, anyhow, I'm gonna make an attack. Uh, it's gonna be. I'm sorry. It'll be. Um, it will be faith to. Hey, real quick. There should be an entire expansion of Ted McGinley, and characters from every show he made jump the shark. Who's Ted McGinley? Married with children. He was Stan from Revenge of the Nerds. Oh, yeah. Stan Gable, man. So back, back when Jump the Shark had its own website, there was a whole category. Just for him? Yeah. Well, he's just, he's Happy Gable. Days and Married with Children, so he's notorious. Oh, okay. Yeah, when he, That's joined, funny. When he joined Happy Days. <laughs> but, it, you know, Richie left, too, so it, was, it coincided. He replaced. Was it just, is, replaced is it just bad luck? Is it really his fault? No, he's good looking. He can put up with <laughs> he is a handsome line. fellow. He's Ted McGinley. Yeah. Mm. Um, so yeah, uh looks like I'm gonna go ahead and attack Willow. So. Willow. <laughs> uh okay, yeah, I'm gonna use the defense. A, a face down, and then we and reveal then just that last one again, that five. Ah, uh, psych, bro. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh does, so... it, does it not work with a five? Is that not good enough? 
No, I just uh, I just used a one attack to get you to waste your good defense. No, I know then, you did. Yeah, it's the only defense, you know. And you were Dark Willow after combat. I turn into Willow. Oh, yeah, combat. you just become Willow. She, like, uses all her strength to... That that's that that token. And then uh, I didn't deal you any defense, uh, any damage, but I get to draw a card. We're moving that token more than Willow. I know that's, it's gonna yeah that's gonna be flipping a lot. We gotta remember that. So. Okay, so what did I do? I did uh, I did a, a scheme and then I did an attack. Yeah, you're done. Oh, you're done. You're yeah, done. yeah. Thank you. No. Okay. Thank you. Uh, let's see. Uh, attack. Terra to faith. Terra to faith? Terra to faith. Okay. I think we're good. Oh, I got your old card there. Gotta have faith. Gotta have faith to faith. Okay. The saddest day of her life is when Wham broke out. <laughs> Uh, let's see. So you attack me. It looks like it's a wash. After combat, move your fighter up to four spaces. So you can hit and run. But my after combat goes first. I deal uh, deal one damage to each opposing fighter adjacent to Faith. So it looks like okay. oh, Dania so both, or, faith or both faith. of them. Like, they both take one damage. And then you can move your fighter up to four spaces after the combat. Okay. So who, who made the attack? It was the yeah. arrow? So Terra can move up to four if you want to get her out of there. Mm. I don't know if you want to slug it out with these two. They're kind of melee monsters. Well, I just wanted to distract you. From, sure. From where that, oh. uh, up to four? Yeah. Mm. I think if we just duke it up, duke it out face to face like this, I'll probably come out on top. But... Well. Well, thank you. Yeah. You just We played a game of Godzilla Tokyo Clash earlier, and Mothra just smashed me. Godzilla had took a humiliating Power of the defeat. Clam. Yeah. Power of the Clam. Yep. Um, okay, so I'll discard those. So was that your first move? You just attacked me? No, that was my... Yeah, that was my first move. Yeah. Okay, and uh, I guess we'll do... Uh, well, she's not Jason to anything, sure, but we'll do uh, Willow attack to Faith. Or to Faith. Anyway. Willow to Faith. Huh? Mm -hmm. Gotta take it. Okay. Ooh, what are you doing to me? Oops. And you're regular Willow, right? So. Willow. Yeah, we're regular Willow. Okay. So flayed alive. It looks like uh, looks like Faith is gonna take four damage. And now she becomes Dark Willow. No, it's when you get hit. When you get hit. Oh, that's right. Yeah. When either of your characters get hit. So that was four. Ah. That was rugged. And then, uh, oh, they, and I just want to point this out to people because this is a new mechanic they added. It's something called Blind Boost, where uh, if you had been Dark Willow when you made that attack, you do a Blind Boost, which is you just discard the top card of your deck without, and then whatever its boost value is gets added to the attack. So that could be pretty high. You could do like seven or even like six or seven damage well that was a good attack, attack regardless yeah but, yeah but even without it that was solid yeah but cool good to yeah. know something they that's a new rule they added just for this set the mm -hmm. blind boost ability um that was that's two good. right that's okay two. So maneuver. It'd be cool if they merged the movie and the show. Then you'd have a Rutger Hauer and a Pee Wee. <laughs> yeah. A Luke Perry. Well, they're saving Pee Wee for the, the Cheech and Chong expansion. Oh, no, they were saving for the blow game. Oh, blow? <laughs> what do you kind of have a connection? Let's see. And actually, they're saving them for the back to the beach. Uh, okay. yeah. We'll do that. Let's the follow you there. And. Whenever my, and then. Um, Faith to Terra. Faith, Faith, you mean Faith to Will? No, no, oh, no, no, no. Uh, oh, that's my sidekick. 
on this right I'm not oh you yeah uh, what what's going on yeah yeah you're right you're right yeah I'm sorry faith to it faith to Willow you lose way and forfeit I'm ah, no <laughs> yeah yeah I'm sorry yeah it's uh it's faith to Willow okay faith to Willow mm -hmm. okay Okay. Are we good? Okay. All right. So we got. Ooh. Oh, and uh, so let's see. Five by five, five damage. Uh, to your three defense, so you're gonna take two damage. You're gonna flip. I'll go ahead and flip you. Go ahead and just take two damage off her. All right. Eleven. I'm at eleven. And then. And then my after combat ability is move Faith up to five spaces. She may move through opposing fighters. So let's go ahead. Just exits. And that was it. I think that was a maneuver and an attack. So you're up, buddy. Uh, How'd you move? Uh, what did what did you? you yeah, new characters. Yeah. Um, Some live editing. Yeah. Was it two maneuvers? Just two maneuvers. Two maneuvers. Yeah. <laughs> All righty. Let's see. <laughs> Who dares come over and face me? All right. I guess I'll maneuver. And um... go ahead and uh, I'll have um I have Angel attack Terra. Okay. Let's see what we got. Uh, oh, so, that's so yeah, I still hit you. Mm -hmm. And it uh, looks like I hit you for two, and I don't so, do anything else. But Terra's dead. Oh, yeah, yeah she's gone. So you can so pull her gone. off the map there. Bye, Terra. Well, I moved and I attacked, so it's, uh... And Willow goes good. Oh, no, no, she stays. She only turns oh, back... Oh, that's right, Tara. Yeah. Uh, uh, she turns back uh, if at the end of your turn, if you're adjacent to your sidekick, so I'm guessing she's or, just going to stay Dark Willow or now. one of them takes damage. Oh, no, no, that's just... Uh, when they take damage, she turns into Dark Willow. And the only way she turns back oh. into Willow is if they're, she's adjacent to her sidekick. So... I think she's it's I'm she's Willow angry. From now on. I killed you. Oh yeah. Um no no the character card. Oh yeah. Yeah. So yeah. When Willow or Terra is dealt damage to become Dark Willow at the end of your turn, if Dark Willow is adjacent to Terra, she becomes Willow. So she's gonna be Dark Willow for the rest of the game. That's Unless cool a that. card says to turn her back. So so she's angry because I killed her girl. So girlfriend. so it, it's kind of uh you get an advantage losing Terra. She gets mad. Dark, she gets mad. Permanently, yeah. she gets the boost. Yeah. And Some of those cards, I, I took a glance at a couple of them when I was... when I was. Uh, yeah, yeah, you're, you're dead now. Yeah, it's on. PMS. Oh, it's <laughs> dark. <laughs> well, yeah, it's, I don't know. Some of those cards of hers are pretty pretty devastating. Uh, let's see. I mean, it makes me wonder if, if Power Creep is starting to set into this game because they want each new set to be interesting to people. And I've seen this happen in we a lot a of other characters. characters. Each new set gets a little bit stronger. We need a Galactus. It's just one card. Win. <laughs> no, Galactus you know. versus Chuck Norris. Well, that's the that's the same problem that comics have. 
or anything involving superpowers. Mm -hmm. You know, the Hulk started off as being able to jump a couple miles, and now he can, you know... Well, Superman started plane. out jumping. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And Batman had a gun. Especially if there's a rivalry between characters, then, yeah, they tend to, like... The... And, and another thing, it's funny you mention that, because back in the old days, like the 60s, 70s, and 80s, Marvel's, like, editorial control was pretty strong. Like, they, the, the, yeah, there was the, the bullpen method. would tell writers, no, you can't do that. That's, that's It was too... called the Marvel method, yeah. right? Yeah. And they have the, a well, term for it. Yeah, the, the, the bullpen, the, like, the, the, the team of editors, well, that was back when they had a few enough titles Jim, where they Jim could Shooter. keep track of everything. Yeah. But now it's like they just let writers do whatever they want. You know, they just, they have carte blanche. Every writer gets to, well, as far as, like, how many, I can go on and on about this, but yeah. the, the characters get reinvented so many times, it just becomes absurd. But anyway. You, you stopped reading comics. Yeah. So, anyhow, just, uh, just where were we? Right? I, I lost my place. I got on It's my turn. There. It's my turn. Okay. So, the, the Marvel method was how they created individual books, where the mm -hmm. artist, the, the writer would do yeah. a general plot. The artist would create all the art, and then the writer would go in and add mm -hmm. the they would they would script it after the art was done. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's what Stanley did with Kirby, mm -hmm. and it became the Marvel method. DC too, though, like the the, the editors actually edited. You know? Yeah, mm -hmm. you know now it's just a free for all. You know because it's funny because uh, my buddy Nick is a huge Hulk fan. I'm a huge Juggernaut fan. And we can both point to, like, I mean, there's just, the, the characters have been stretched beyond recognition, you know what I mean? But um, I remember in high school when you used to say, it's like, there's no way he could ever be in a movie, you can't do it. <laughs> and then they, they put him in X-Men 3, and you were like, see, I told you. Yeah, that, no, there's a character that you know. <laughs> but going forward, you know they're going to do that, right, if he's ever in anything. Sure. You know, but, uh, they're able to do they, it. They did him pretty well in uh, Deadpool 2. Yeah. As much of a dumpster fire that movie was... They no, he looked I cool. Forgot, I forgot he was in that. Yeah, and that's I think, funny. But I just hate how he's always treated as a comic relief character because when he, the character debuted, he was like this ultimate badass. He was like, you need a whole team if you want to have a prayer. Yeah, I, I guess, I, I don't know. They just, redheaded stepchild back in the 60s had a stigma on it. I guess. He was the redheaded stepchild. Yeah, literally, he? yeah. He was, so. Yeah. Now you just need Kitty Pride in a wall. Yeah, that's pretty much it, yeah. Um, so was it your turn? Oh, I don't know. I just said where that. were we? Do you know where we left? Off? Let's look at the cards. So, uh, oh yeah. So, um, it, I moved and attacked. I think it is your turn, buddy. Okay. Yeah. All right. Then. All right, man. Uh, I'll do a scheme. Okay. Right, that you just play. You don't have to yeah. play it face down. This you will can be just a, show it. This will be a good scheme because you're adjacent to me. Oh, so and you're dark blue. Oh, so you draw cards. two cards. And then discard the top two cards of your deck, deal three damage to a sidekick in your zone, even okay, if so it's your own. So I well, discard two? Oh, uh, yeah. Discard the top two cards of your deck. Oh, in my... In, in your in deck. The, in the so deck. take those and put them in your discard right, pile. Right. It's like, see, it's, that represents it's a powerful attack, and she's using a lot of her stamina. And so now, and uh, since I'm dark... Well, and then you deal you. three damage to a sidekick in mm -hmm. your zone, which would be Faith. You just took out Faith. So yeah. Good job, buddy. So there we go. So now it's mano y mano. No flute will save you now. <laughs> Where's your pie, man? Did she play a flute? I didn't really follow. Oh, no, American Pie. Oh, yeah. yeah. One time in Bandcamp, I'm going to tell you. Gotcha, right now. gotcha. You ever heard okay. of that? Bandcamp? All right. <laughs> we're going to do this. <laughs> I thought you were talking about, like, jazz flute. No, I'm just talking about Superman. Alison Hannigan in general. Oh. Yeah. Oh, is that the actress that played Oh, yeah. Her? That's yeah. Willow, yeah. Mm. She's the flute girl from American Pie. Mm. How I Met Your Mother, you know? So you did a scheme. That was your first move. So that was a scheme. And then, um... It's going to turn facing each other. On, right. Now it's cat and mouse, huh? Okay. I'm still on the same color as you. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. you could shoot me. Uh, let's see. I guess uh, I will maneuver. And maneuver again. Yeah. 
I like how they got the little lockers for the high school. Funny. Is this, oh, it's the school library. Okay. Where's Giles? He's right here in the bushes. He's <laughs> hiding. Uh, I just moved twice, so you're up, buddy. Hmm, you're really away from me now, aren't you? I'm going to go And then I will attack. Second attack. Oh, yeah. No, yeah, you're within range. Ooh. Blind boost. Blind boost. Okay, so oh yeah. So uh I'm take, goth, take the take the top deck of your uh take top top part of your deck and yep. put it in your discard file. And the boost value on that is two, so your attack value was six. Yeah, nice. get, get out of here, Angel. Yeah, wow. Uh six, but my defense was three, so it looks like I take three damage. Cool. That blind boost can be nasty. Alright. So if, if you don't no longer have the sidekick again, refresh me. The sidekick cards, they're worthless? No, uh, I'm glad you brought that up. I, I was just thinking of mentioning that. Yes. Uh, uh, so when you maneuver, mm -hmm. you can boost your movement. Like, you can take a card from your hand and uh, discard it, and whatever the boost value is, the number in the little circle, you can increase your movement by that. So even though your sidekick's dead, you can still use those sidekick cards to boost your movement to run faster. So and you still you still with the maneuver, you still draw a fresh card. You, so yeah, you, before you, you move. You, you before you move. Card. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. So so they're not completely useless. You can use them to for, for to yeah to to dash basically. To dash, yeah. mm -hmm. Mrs. Dash <laughs> instead of salt. She's got the right season. Okay, so you moved and you attacked me, right? And then my oh yeah my after combat is if I if I lost the combat I may place Angel in any space in a zone so buddy what's up hey buddy and the sword and the stone I should play Angel versus Dracula I have like vampire versus vampire you can do that now that's what's funny yeah it's like the more properties the more they get the more you can start the more you're just gonna be able to do mm -hmm. that so that was that so now I'm a uh... So was that your was that was your first move moving? Oh uh, no no that was actually on my defense. That was on your yeah defense. like so I, I I'm I'm just starting now that was on my defense card yeah. yeah. Um, okay, uh, Angel will attack. Face me, face mm -hmm. me, witch. I'm attacking you. Have at thee. Okay. Defense. All right, what do we got? Hacker. Oh, so you're you're busting out your laptop in the middle of a sword fight. Yeah. Okay, so looks like I won the combat, um, but you're I deal you one damage. And let's but your after combat ability goes first. Look at the top card of your deck mm -hmm. and you can so look at that. And if you don't like it, you can either put it on top or if you don't like it, you can put it on the bottom of your deck. So if you want to like fish for a better card, yeah. Cool. Okay. And then my after combat ability is I draw a card. So I get you for one. And second one, uh, uh, Angel will attack you again. Let's see what we got. Regroup. Ooh, it's a five against a one. I hit you for four damage. I'm telling you. Yeah. Boy, he's a combat monster, but that makes sense. He's kind of a badass, isn't he? He's sensitive, though. Is he? Yes. Yeah, I, I noticed he's he's brooding in a lot of in the cards Dude, when I was looking through. It's like he's very angst-ridden. He's the apotheosis of brood. Yeah, he's pretty angst-ridden. No, uh, Robert Smith could take lessons. It's sure. Did you take the damage then? Yes. And then after con you you have an after combat no, ability. Draw, draw a card. card. If you had one, you'd have drawn two, but you just draw one. Yeah, it's okay. And that was my turn. You're up, buddy. Yeah. Okay. Let's see. So Restoration Games, if you're listening, we'd really like a Cheech and Chong versus the McKenzie Brothers four pack. Just saying. That'd be great. And then Bill mm -hmm. and Ted, just get all the duos. All the duos? Yeah.
send you a text. They could like get you high and make you wander off aimlessly. You know what? You could make it to where like uh, the pieces are. <laughs> you know? He did it. Yeah, it came out. All right, cool. Attack. Oh, you, oh okay. Before, don't show me. Don't show oh, me, bro. Wow, wait a minute. Don't show me, bro. All right, then. Uh, okay. All right, All right. Let's see what we got. All right. Looks like you won this one. Yeah. You're attacking me. Oh, uh, you cancel my effects. I just want to draw, draw my card. You deal me one damage. And was that your first move? Yeah, second one I'll just spend it over. Yeah, you better run. Nowhere to run, nowhere to hide. Nowhere to run to, nowhere to hide. Best to stay inside. All right. Um, hmm. Well, you can't zap me from there. I don't know what I should do. Maybe it's time to go regroup. Let's see. I think I'm going to maneuver. Each kind of like if you're gonna do some orchestral maneuvers in the dark. <laughs> oh Angel, if you leave, don't leave now. <laughs> what about our breakfast club uh act? Can I have all the characters? Well we got uh we got the princess and we got the uh <laughs> well he's Ali Sheedy. We're gonna do a gender swap. <laughs> okay, yeah, because he's the the brooding, the yeah, moody and one. He's full of dandruff. He's, he's full of dandruff. He's deep, he's complex. He's got layers. And he doesn't like bologna on his Captain Crunch and Casey Stick sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen that movie too many times. And so I maneuvered, and I guess I'll just maneuver again. Boy, the sidekicks didn't last long this game, did they? The <laughs> sidekick. All right, buddy, you're up. You know, this is this is kind of threatening in a way. It's kind of he's just kind of. Okay. I just don't want to break that sword. It looks fragile. Sure. <laughs> Maneuvering. Remember, you can have as uh, seven cards as your hand. It's not your hand maximum, but at the end of your turn, if you have more than seven, you got to discard down to seven. Okay, so is that one move? I'll use a scheme for my next one. I can bring back Kara at three. What? Oh yeah, that's right. She's a necromancer. I saw this card I when I was it. looking at the set. It's cool. Um, resurrect. So I'll show the people at home. This is not, a really not a really health. not full health, but half health. Uh, three. Just you put set their health to three. Um, I was think I was looking at this and I was thinking if you were playing a two on two like a, a four player game, mm -hmm. she's great because it's not just her sidekick. She can actually resurrect the other hero. Mm -hmm. You know, like if you're playing a team game, she can bring them back to three health. And I think she's got a couple of those cards in her deck. How it's the only. It's the as far as I know, other than sidekicks, it's the only way. That card is the only way to bring back a main character. And I can I can I can maybe go back to Good Willow now. <laughs> Maybe there's a chance for me. So, All right, so that's, that's uh, two turns. So you put her anywhere in your zone. Well, there. Okay. Yeah, just, it. just in my in the path of, of destruction. Blocking. Yeah. Yeah, that's a really cool card. She's and, a cool character. She's got some interesting stuff. Yeah. So now the next time mm -hmm. I'm attacked, I go back to Good Willow because yeah. she's on the board. Or no, at the end of your turn. Uh, now you now so you now go back. Go, that's mm -hmm. what I was wondering. Yeah. It's whenever that you end your turn and they're... I think, I think Jeff five. was trying to tell us. Yeah. Okay, so I'm up. Mm -hmm. I can kill you again. That's no problem. I'll kill you as many times as need be. Get him! At first. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you would, you bitch. The <laughs> <laughs> um, time is not yet right. Oh, oh, we're talking gothic now. <laughs> Where are the gargoyles? He should have gog. Uh, well, what, uh, what, do you, what do you want to do there? Uh, got such a big sword. Hmm. I think I'm going to... Uh, Card to maneuver, but I'm gonna go. 
I'll burn that card just to boost. So I'm going to move five. Okay. First one. And then. Just another, right, I'm just so, gonna do, so what's your thinking there? Why is your melee fighter running around like a little girl? Hand regeneration. Getting, just rebuilding my hand. I've, you know, it's going to need it. It's, I, I've found this out, but, you know, I've played this game enough times now where I realize that when you're running out of steam, you got to, you got to go regroup, you know? If you just try slugging it out, you run out of cards, and then you just take it on the chin when it's your opponent's turn. So He's going to need his hand. <laughs> um, over there. I'm gonna go ahead and maneuver again, and I'm gonna go ahead and uh, let's see. Liking the building, the scenery, liking everything right I'm now. I'm up the stairwell you right go now. go to the library, get some books on you. Yeah. Look up some books on witchcraft so I can figure out how to beat you. Um, I know how to play a flute. I can't draw one on that second one. Should have, should have drawn first. It's... I'm not going to remind you. I know, I'm speaking out loud. I'm reminding myself, Jason, because I can't count on you for that kind of thing. I forget too much as it is. Yes, I know. Um, yeah, it's your turn, man. Mm -hmm. All right. There, and then... You know, attack me. I think and so. I think and so. Yeah. We'll attack Angel here with it. Okay. That's a two. Okay, so you cancel my card. You just stopped me from drawing a uh, card. Did you? Slowly but surely. Oh, uh, you know, one hit at a time. One day at a time. That's going to be an expansion too. Valley, um, Valerie don't, Bertinelli don't, versus don't, don't you dare, Mackenzie Phillips. Don't you dare make me one of Schneider with, with the ultimate powers of handiness. If that ever comes out, that will be the seventh seal. And his sidekick, just, you know, throwing it out there, maybe like, you know, Jim J. Bullock from Too Close for Comfort. I would really like a Good Times expansion restoration game, but I want to... Yeah, that'd be dynamite. I, wanna, mm -hmm. <laughs> I think it would be... You have a Florida... No, right there. It's my name. <laughs> okay. Um, hmm. I'm up, huh? You can have a Jefferson's game where it's a building and the object is to move on up. <laughs> and you can take the same concept to the game of Death Bruce Lee game. Yeah. Oh, like climbing a tower? Then the raid game, Judge Dredd. So many tower climbing games. Yeah, you can that's, have. that's a very common motif in it is, television. Actually. Make a movie. Dude, going up in a tower. <laughs> oh, I get it. Very okay. Um, and wait, I got, I got oh, one more. You got one more? One more okay. I'm so getting ahead was, of myself. I'm just kidding. That was it. Okay. <laughs> We're both getting No, terrible. I just We're remembered getting, I don't. Yeah, there's some definite dementia sitting in. What? 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 Who, who am I? What was that? Yeah, that, yeah, that part of the that part of the show is unintentional comedy. Uh, let's see. Um, hmm. Mm -hmm. Agonizing over this. I wish I took I real life that. this seriously. Probably get some more. Uh, let's see. Um, maneuver. Run away. Oh, he's crouching. And go ahead and attack you. Oh, okay. Um, right. 
Two against the two. It's a wash. I cancel your effect. So look at so. the top card of the deck. You won the comp. No, you don't do that oh, okay. because I canceled it. So. Okay. No, it's just a failed attack. Oh, but my special ability, and I think I've forgotten to do this once or twice, is after I attack, if I lose the combat, I get to draw a card. That's a potent ability, and I and I keep forgetting to do it. Well, it's because you're a man. You're an idiot. Yeah. yeah. Well, we've had a lot right that doesn't draw. And I, so, yeah, uh, that's another thing I want to tell people. So, uh, the rule on that, on determining the winner and the loser of combat, if the attack deals damage, the attacker wins. If the attack doesn't deal damage, the defender wins. If, uh, if an effect on the card deals damage, it doesn't count and the defender still wins. It's mm -hmm. got to be the attack itself dealing damage for the attacker to win. Does so, I'm still good Willow then? Um... Oh no, uh, I didn't deal you any damage. I have to actually damage you right. for you to turn. Yeah. We always forget to use the character's uh, special ability. It's, just, yeah, it's easy yeah. to do. Yeah. You get you're so wrapped up reading the cards, you forget you have that that base ability. And there's the hardening of the arteries in the brain, the plaque buildup. I smoked too much marijuana through aluminum cans growing up. Oh well, that that's what it was. Yeah. Right, you and my stepdad both. Oh, Bobby. Um, he's doing okay, actually. He's not homeless, so there's that. He's doing okay. He's he he has food and shelter. Yeah, I'm. I was worried about him there for a while. Um, Either about all jest aside. All right. So is that it for you? Ah, uh, was a moving and attack. Yeah, right? I was in a moving and attack. You're up, okay. buddy. Oh wait. You know, uh, I was playing with some friends of mine from work. We were playing this game, and uh, some of the characters in this game, like Robin Hood, and it looks like angels this way too, have a lot of cards that let them draw extra cards. You got to be careful with that because you can really burn through your deck quick, and then you're just defenseless. It's it's very easy to do. So I did my first. Uh, that was a maneuver. The second one is Terra to Angel attack. Terra to Angel. Yeah. Terrorizing. You're ter terrorizing me? That's right, man. And your sword ain't gonna help you. My sword? It's a ward? I live and die by the sword. <laughs> and that Scarface when I get up voice? I think so, yeah. I live and die by the sword. As the mind playing tricks. <laughs> That's playing tricks on me. It is playing tricks on me. But it's not because of anything you're doing. It's aging. Oh, uh, let's see. Um... Using these, you know, sometimes you you're holding on to a card and you want to save it for something good, but you gotta waste it on some BS. Okay, oh yay! Let's see, revoke. Uh, you three attack. I got a three defense. You cancel my card, but I win the combat. Nothing happens to me. But no power decrease. It's just even Stevens. Yeah, it's I, it, anytime I, the attack doesn't actually do the opponent damage, it, mm -hmm. it's the, the defender wins. All right then. Okay. Hmm. Be cool. This might work. So, I go ahead and maneuver. And I will go ahead and boost my movement by three. So then I will go one, two, three, four, five. What's up? You weren't expecting that, were you? Well, I can see you think she smells. <laughs> she smells delicious. Um, Babe, kitties. Watch. I could just see that. Yeah, never mind. I'm not even going <laughs> to. I don't want to dig my hole any deeper. Um, kitties. And then I will go ahead and... Uh, Go ahead and attack, yeah. I'm going to attack. 
Um, I have to take. God, I, I mean, I can I can kill Terra, but you'll you probably can. just but you'll just res it. Oh no, well, I'm adjacent to both. Um, but I thought it was same color. No. Well, it's same color. Yeah. For uh, so when you're making a range, if you have a character who can That's make a ranged range. attack, okay. it, it it's adjacent, just like a melee character, or in the same zone. All right, right. But we're adjacent, we so none of none of that matters. Yeah. Well, yeah, you might as well go for Terra. Um, yeah, well, Terra keeps getting resurrected. That's, That's right. Kind of annoying. Yeah. So you know. I don't so go think, for Tara. I don't think Willow can resurrect herself, so I'm gonna go ahead. And she's down to six health, so I'm attacking Willow. I'm uh -huh. I'm done with Tara. Okay, well then there, I got the defense for it right now. You got the defense yeah, for it. Five there. Oh, that. Well, that kind of sucks because it's a five against a five, but you win the combat. So. And do I stay Willow because it's? I didn't damage you, so Willow? yeah, I have to hurt you. Okay. Well, now even if you were to damage me with that card defense, do I stay good Willow? Says after combat, become Willow. Uh, yeah, that doesn't matter. That's only if you were Dark Willow to That's begin only with. Only if you're Dark Willow. Yeah, if you yeah. were her to begin no, with, no. then you'd okay. turn back. Okay. Um, and uh, yeah, it's only when I deal you damage, so well, well, that you turn. For, that's it for you then. Yeah, that was wow. That was a good good play. That that's a good card. Mm -hmm. I think that's the highest value defense card, uh, like we were saying, that we've seen in the game so far. I don't think I've seen a, a five defense card. On any no, I don't remember characters. a five with any of yeah. the monsters or anything. All right, Terra to Angel. Hmm. Okay. He's still going to die. Oh, I got to take it. That sucks. That's right. You're going to take it. <laughs> Ooh, four damage. That's right. Knowledge of the craft. Four damage, and after combat, if you won the combat, choose a card in your discard pile and put it in your hand. How about that? <laughs> That's cool, man. That nice? Four damage. Boy, I don't know what happened. I'm disintegrating here. Disintegrating? I've had enough of this. I want, does a disintegration gun disintegrate in your hand? The Gaffy Duck? It should, huh? In the Duck Rogers cartoon. Well, you know it. Disintegrated. And then I'll do a maneuver for the next. Oh, that was only your first action? Yeah, that was the first one. I'm, She's I'm a thinking, monster. I'm thinking. Yeah. This guy just, it's, you know, it just seems funny to me. And I'm sure it's perfectly innocent. But every game we play, Jason's favorite characters always turn out to be really strong. <laughs> Whether it's video games, board games. It seems like whoever he's like, oh, because I want to be that person, they just turn out to be kick-ass. That's because the well-rounded woman knows everything and knows how to do it. I, or maybe you just like kick-ass characters, and that's... I tend to choose girls because they tend to be the most well-rounded. And they always have strong defense in, the, in games. Anyway, uh, off on a tangent. So, uh, I, um, um, is it my turn now? It is your turn because I'm far away, far away. You can still get me. Who are you gonna come for? Thinking about that. You know, you got that big fat five defense card in your hand. I could have a resurrection thing too. You don't know. <laughs> so go for Tara because she can't come back. Um. Sometimes they come back, but they mostly come back at night most of the time. Um, okay, I'm gonna. Uh, <clears throat> yeah. So I'm gonna go. Yeah. Yeah. And. And. and, and I'm here. I'm here. You gonna tag me? Yeah, I'm just. I've got. I've got a couple options here. I was just reading the text. Uh, hmm. Read the text. Read it to me. No, I'm gonna read it to you. Well, after. Yeah. I'll. I like keeping you in suspense, Jay. I gotta know. Uh, what are you gonna do? Teams and scam. Yeah. I. Okay. Here we go. So yeah, uh, I yeah. take it. It's oh, I have no defense well then she did. Yeah, and then after combat, move to any space in your zone. Oh, sorry. I apologize, everybody. 
So it was disengaged. So I deal her four damage. Will is going to get you for that one. Yeah, I'll knock her out. And move my fighter to any other space in their zone. So the green zone there. Oh, that was a move and an attack. I think you're up, buddy. Okay. Oh, the... Oh, that? Yeah. Just take it off the map there. Here we go. Moving? You grooving? Moving and grooving. You doing another maneuver? Another maneuver in the institute in the dark okay. Two right. maneuvers, huh? So two maneuvers. Giving you a chance. Okay. Well, I'll maneuver. Why don't you resurrect uh, Faith there? Why don't you do that? I don't have that I ability. Can't do that. Yeah. You can't resurrect people. No, I can't resurrect Angel people. Angel sucks. You're getting some swagger at this game. <laughs> I'm scared. I'm scared of her. She's so awesome. I'm running for my life. Centuries of life, and it all ends here in a high school. Uh, that was just one. Okay. One, uh, Again. <laughs> I'm gonna stay there next to the lockers. You're familiar. We got beat there every day. Your turn. Our decks are getting thin. We're gonna run out of stamina here pretty soon. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. I use a scheme for my first one. We're bringing back. Well, she's already at three. Okay. The, the dial is still at three health. And you can put her, I think, anywhere in your zone. Yeah, in my zone. Adjacent or just anywhere in the zone? Oh, wait. Choose a friendly fighter who has been defeated. Place a fighter in any space in Willow's zone and set their health to three. And the health is already at three. Any space so. in Willow's zone. Yeah. Right. I didn't bother putting it to zero because I knew you were bringing her back. That's right. Um, That's the first move. What? Okay. Hmm. Where's your wings? <laughs> what well, if there was a It's a Wonderful Life game? Oh wow! The object to, to be to get well, it's holiday wings. themed, and there's get, always a market for that. Get Clarence his wings. You gotta go beat up Mr. Potter for taking all the money from everybody. Oh, <laughs> uh, uh, let's see. Son of a bitch. Uh, you can do an Alfred Hitchcock game, which just all the movies. Shower scene. Dexter scene. It's a good scene. Well, you know, yeah, all kidding aside, I'm, I'm sure, like, yeah, you could do a lot of Hitchcock movies. No, just one game with all of them. Oh, oh. Like Hitchcock verse. Well, Hitchcock... That's the next one. Hey, Universe. Shared oh, Universe. The Hitchcock verse. <laughs> oh, don't do it. Oh, uh, let's see. The Watcher character can be Alfred Hitchcock. <laughs> yeah, so. Mm -hmm. Oh, just uh, move. I'm thinking. Don't pressure me. Get enough of that. What are you, you going to do, Angel? You just walk around. Get your cards and walk around. 
Looking at all these groovy faith cards I'll never get to use. Um, You're in the George Myers. I'm going to maneuver and I'm going to go ahead and burn. Whatever. I guess time for subtlety to go one, two. Uh, it added three to my movement, so I'll get it right up in All right, there. what about it? And I will attack with Angel. Well, obviously, Angel to, uh, to Willow. To Willow, yeah, mm -hmm. there you go. Man, I'm at a five defense. You're dead. <laughs> ah, psych. No, I'm just kidding. It says your defense is now a uh, negative five, so that's mm -hmm. a yeah, you lose. No, um, so lose everything. Um, yeah, I do lose the combat, but it says if I lose the if I attack and lose the combat, recover one health. He gets a health back, and I stay good. Will. And I attack, then I lost, so I get to draw a card. But I stay good. Will no, uh, your after combat has become Willow. Oh, that you're already Willow, yeah. so I guess it don't, doesn't matter. So. Yeah. Okay. That was a, that was a move that was and a attack, yeah. Uh, let's see here. What did I do? Let's do a, a scheme? scheme first. Draw two cards. We're gonna draw two cards. And then And your regular willow, so you don't do the other stuff. Then I will attack Angel. Okay. Uh... All right. I think I got a defense card. All right, so you're attacking me. When good magic fails, uh, it's a four attack. I have a three defense, so I lost. But after combat, it says uh, if I lost the combat, the opposing fighter takes one damage. So we just each take a point of damage. That's kind of cool. Yeah, I'll need to practice with him. He's an interesting character. I, 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 like I said, I kept forgetting to do his card draw. But it's an interesting set. Some interesting cards. Some interesting abilities. Was that it? Was that two? That was it. So does he go to? Oh, uh, you know, that's a good question. I think that's actually it's. It, when Willow or Terra is dealt damage, Willow becomes Dark Willow. Yeah, uh, it, but I would so uh, if it's a card ability, it doesn't matter damage. whether it was from combat or from an effect. So, so yeah, you yeah. do but become Dark Willow at the end of your turn. If you're next to Tara, he just he turned and then turned back. Yeah, yeah. So, so you're you next just, to Willow because you're next, back, to, Tara. I'm next yeah. to Tara. There you go. I just like I just like watching, watching Jason flip the card, flipping, making him dance, flipping. <laughs> he's like he's like the Vanna White of this program. <laughs> I like to buy um, a vowel. Uh, Angel to Angel's gonna go ahead and attack Willow. Okay. Bada bing. Ooh, it's a five against a one. Four damage on Willow. Uh oh. But you get to draw a card. I'm showing everybody a picture. Hmm. All right. And um, I'll go ahead and attack you again. See if I can put an end to this. Uh, probably. Okay. Three against the three. Um, yeah, you won the combat, but let's see, during combat, yours goes. So you blind you, boost? You, yeah, but you don't blind boost it because you're not Dark Willow. Right. Um, momentous. Oh, should have been Dark Willow. Took damage on the last one. Oh yeah, that's right. You're right. So, so blind boost, draw a card. So draw a card. It just raises your defense. Yeah, you don't know. No, it goes on the discard pile there. 
Uh, yeah, so you he obviously wants. So that can be a bit of a mixed blessing, because you might burn cards when you don't even need to. Yeah. Um, okay, and then during combat. Yeah, so all these things start coming into play. Like mm -hmm. earlier in the game when you were running away to build up cards, mm -hmm. if you had been drawing your cards when you were supposed to, you wouldn't need to run away. Mm -hmm. And now you, you know. Yeah, it hurt me. It's just, you know, it's like, uh, like you, like I said, I think, you know, if I practice a little bit and I just remember that ability, um, I think he has the potential to be a pretty strong character. Like, I've noticed, like, a lot of his cards, it's like whenever you lose, you get to draw a card. Whenever you lose, you get to heal a click, you know. He has a, you know, kind of like, you know, you can go get you're, in there. You're just, you're just not worthy enough to play Angel. I guess I'm That's not. I'll, 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 you but, know. But he seems like a tank. Like, you have to be in close combat for him mm -hmm. to be useful. Yeah, I just, uh, you know, and I let Faith die too soon, too. But there's some killer cards in this deck with Faith. And now I, all I can use them for is boosting. So. You gotta get rid of somebody named Faith. Yeah. Anyhow. Uh, oops. Yeah. So you're up, buddy. All right. Uh, I'll attack Angel with Willow. Mm. How many cards do you have in your hand? Just one. Just one? Um, I just cancel your ability. You just hit me for one damage. And now I, now I can move you up to three spaces. No, that part got canceled. Oh, okay. <clears throat> Let's see. Draw my last card. Ooh. Hmm. You're maneuvering, huh? Do we reshuffle the deck or no? That... Yeah. See that? So you're out of stamina. So now, anytime you want to maneuver, mm -hmm. and basically anytime the game tells you to draw a card, which was a maneuver or like whether a card tells you to draw, yeah. instead of drawing a card, you take two damage. He's he's just he's got nothing left in the tank. He's completely exhausted now. Mm -hmm. So uh, was that it? That yeah. was the moves. So All really, right. there's there's and now I might be able to just like. There's wait actually my another own. way you can play this game without even coming close to me. Well, see the thing is, yeah, that's the thing is you like, don't have to attack me now. The the, the 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 thing I like about that is is um you um you can't just like uh. Just wait, you know what I mean? The game has a built-in time limit. Well, come at me then. You might as well just come at me then. Because if you just stay around and yeah. if, so I, gonna, if I move any space, I'm at a one. I'm going to maneuver. So you, you might as well just come at me. So I'm going to maneuver. Um, Ba-boom. And mm -hmm. attack. I think that's game. I think I got you. Yep. Five against the one. Good game though. That yeah. was a lot of back and forth. I, I really thought he was going to take that one. Um, so, but Willow's you know, dead. But what about her little helper person? Okay. Oh yeah. I'm glad you mentioned that. So since we're just playing one on one, as soon as the hero, your opposing hero, uh, is gone, you win. Now, if we were playing a four player game, uh, it's interesting. There's a there's a, a slight change. So if you're playing a team based play, uh, and your hero dies and you just have a sidekick, you can continue to play just as the sidekick as long as your teammate still has a, a hero on the board. But, um, you know, so uh, let's see, closing thoughts. I think this is a good expansion. Yeah, yeah let's um, do uh, Buffy and uh, Spike. Yeah, we'll definitely, uh, we'll come back in a few minutes and do it. Um, I, I think they're, uh, the, the game is definitely coming along. I, they're coming up with some interesting abilities, interesting cards. I like this set. I'm not the hugest Buffy fan, but uh, gameplay wise, it's great. So, yeah, I, I enjoyed it. You're actually a closet Buffy fan, you know everything. Well, I'm going to have to, I guess I'm going to have to go watch the show now. Like, so I'm not a poser. Like that episode of Seinfeld where he denied <laughs> knowing anything about Melrose Place. They put him and up he, to the lie detector. Like, yes, I admit it. How I know everything we do it. about it. I don't believe you. So, we'll play the other two characters next then. Do you want to yeah. be Buffy? I'll be Buffy. Okay. So she's got an interesting thing. Uh, you get to pick your sidekick. You get to customize your deck, but you wait until... I pick Angel. <laughs> this reminds me of Danny DeVito in One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest. I Hit picked me. this many. Hit me. Hit me. Hit me.
right, we'll this be right back. This we'll be right back. We're gonna we'll play another people. one. Good night. Well, for a few minutes anyway. Yeah, we're <laughs> just gonna take a about a three or four minute break to reset the board. So we will be right back. Enjoy the music. Should we flip the map to the other side? Yeah, might as well. Yes, definitely. Yeah, she's good. Hey, I'm Buffet. Hey, everybody. We're back for round two of Unmatched, uh, the Buffy the Vampire Slayer uh, expansion. Uh, for round two here, we're going to be playing, uh, Jason's going to be playing Buffy, and it looks like I'll be playing Spike and Drusilla. And you have, uh, you chose uh, Xander as your side. Yeah. So let's see. Buffy uh, can choose your sidekicks. Yeah, so we she went with Xander. Yeah, you can choice. choose Giles or Xander. Yeah, she's the only character that can actually choose which one she wants. Yeah, and then, cool. uh, so let's see. Let's go through our special abilities here real quick. Buffy may move through spaces containing opposing fighters, including when she is moved by card effects. So just Buffy, not your sidekick. She can move through enemy pieces. And then uh, Spike has, at the start of your turn, you may place a shadow token in any space adjacent to Spike or Drusilla. Don't really know what the shadow tokens do, but I, they probably factor into, like, attack and defense. So, anyway, let's get started. You're going to go first. Let's so, see. do you do you want... Not yet. Not they, yet. Yeah, it's it's uh, uh, when you'll you'll go first, and then at the start of my turn, I can place one. All right, fine. Four. I go first? Yes. And oh, your movement is three. Your guys are a little quicker. Mine's only two. That was your maneuver. Did you draw a card before you moved? I did draw oh, okay. a card. Yeah. Now she's close to hand to hand, right? They both are. All yeah, of the, all of our the, characters. The there's no there's hand. no ranged fighters on, on this than this one. So just draw another card, but I'll stay where I'm at. Okay. Let's see what we have here. Okay. Let's see. Hmm. Um, this will maneuver. Oh. Oh, there's a crisscrossing line. Do you see that? Kind of an odd man. They make you jump, jump. Let's see. Uh, I will. No, he just likes to pose. Just. He's like, Sim, what? What, brah? Uh, let's see. Just reading the cards, and these are brand new ones. So, yeah, sure. um, so are you gonna are you gonna move with that maneuver, or are you just gonna draw cards and just stay where you're at? I haven't even drawn a card yet, but I am gonna maneuver. Okay. So. Ooh, ooh. I, looks, it's like I'm down. Like this is like a balcony on either side. Right. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then I got, I got to go take the stairs. So one, two, maneuver. Up in the loft where you need to be. <laughs> Throw that spike in the loft. <laughs> Let's see. We'll just maneuver again. Ah, oh, you're not going to attack Xander? Well, I thought about it. He's, he's too pretty. And I forgot to put lay a shadow token, but that's okay, because I think I want to save him. I only have two. Is that it? Moving the close to me, and then that's it? Yeah. Making sure I'm not cheating. I will do this, so I will move through you. That's kind of yeah. That's kind of okay. interesting, huh? She can't be pinned down. Not bad, dad. And then I will. Ah, 
Spy. Spy car. Hmm. Four against four. Slayer's strength. Four attack after. Okay. After combat. Both have after combat abilities, but it looks like I won the combat. Mm -hmm. If I won the combat, move one of the fighters in the combat up two spaces. I can team up on. Uh, but I can move yeah. Xander now, can't I? Um, you can. But he can't move through opposing characters like she can. Uh, but I can still move him. Yeah, um, and then you may move all fighters adjacent to Buck. Uh, it doesn't matter. There's no one adjacent to Buck. Okay, that so doesn't matter. Move. So yeah. 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 Okay. So discard. Right, My turn. Yeah. Now I think I'm gonna beat up on uh, Xander. Uh, pretty boy. Yeah. Oh, it's beginning of my turn. At the start of my turn, you may place a shadow token in any space adjacent to Spike and Drusilla. Is the shadow piece a buffer so you can't move through it? It 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 sets up certain cards. Like certain cards are stronger if if either I'm on a, a shadow token or you are. Okay. So um I think for, I'm gonna go ahead and put it under you under you. The shadows are coming for you. The shadow knows. The shadow knows. Is that Alec Baldwin? Is that who played it? Yeah, we I forgot about that Ann movie. Miller. God, I forgot that movie. It was. It's actually a good movie. Yeah. You know, it just it bombed. It just when it bombed came hard. Out. Well, people were exhausted with. They did the Phantom. Uh, they, didn't know. Uh, pulp, they tried doing a bunch of pulp movies, and not too many of them did well. I remember. Because well, the I, Phantom I mean, didn't the, do well either. It was either. the Phantom and the Shadow came out about the same time, but it was Dick Tracy that killed. Oh, was it? Yeah. yeah. They put so much into Dick Tracy okay, here and Bond. So, let's see. For my first move, I think I'm going to do a scheme. Drusilla is, this is a strong one. You'll like this. So, I'm going to do the site with Drusilla. Schemes and scams. Schemes and scams. Mm -hmm. The site. Choose an opponent and look at their hand. Hand it over, buddy. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. Choose a card for them to discard. If any of their fighters are in a space with a shadow token, choose two cards for them to discard instead. Let's see what kind of strong stuff I can get rid of here. We got so much strong stuff. It's not even funny. You do, brah. That's some good cards. That is some. That is a high powered. Let's just see what you got coming up for me, so I know everything you have and what you're gonna do. You're gonna forget it. I will forget it in five seconds. Uh, too many cards to remember. But at least you you know they're in the discard pile. You're not getting them back. So. Take all his Xander cards. So you just kill him. Don't you feel violated after I did that? That's kind of kind of sleazy, don't you think? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You 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 rough you rough man you. Yeah. Manhandling. I like cheating. Manhandling Xander. It's, it's it's a legal move, but it feels like cheating. So it feels good. Um. Okay, so that was my first one, and then what else can I do to you? Yeah, second move, Spike will attack uh, Xander Boy. Mm -hmm. um, Is it even worth saving? Garbage. He's hot garbage. Yes, here you go. Defense. Let's see if you draw a card. Okay, what do I got here for you? The rush. Okay, so it's three attack against the one, so it looks like I'm going to win. Mm -hmm. uh, if Spike or the opposing fighter is in a space with a shadow token, the value of this card is five instead, so you're going to take four damage okay. on Xander. Xander. Mm -hmm. It puts me down to two. Okay. But because of your card, you get to draw a card. Right. Yeah. Wait, I, I like him already. You know, why didn't you play Spike last time? I don't know. What can I say? But yeah, he, he's... <laughs> I 
He looks like Billy Idol. He kind of does. He has the spiked blonde hair. Yeah. Or like Constantine. And look, he's he's in the rebel yell pose. He looks Mo, like Mo Mo Mo. He looks like John Constantine is supposed to look. <laughs> Uh, okay, but then yeah. the comic didn't he have brown hair too? No, he was blonde. He was blonde. Okay. Well, like reddish like a dirty blonde. blonde or, or That's why I like. Blonde. I liked the Keanu Reeves movie, but I was like, man, you don't look anything like John Constantine. Um, okay, was that it? Uh, yeah, I played a scheme and then a uh, attack. So I think you're up. What's Buffy doing over there? Doing air guitar? Mm -hmm. Do I move two or three? You move three. You can okay, so yeah. you get him out I'll, of I'll keep her there. Well, I'll move her there. I'll still be Jason. Yeah. Uh, and then I'll attack Spike. Attacking Spike, hey? yeah, yeah, with Beth there. Okay. Whoa, Mister Pointy, Mister Pointy, five right. damage against the two. I, I definitely won that one. I, I canceled nothing. I penetrated. Yeah, you sure did. So three damage on Spike. You said mm -hmm. it's pretty blunt and to the point. Good. I don't care. That's why I hang out here. Okay. How many was that? That was. You uh, wake was me up two. from my nap. Yeah, I two? moved and then I attacked. Mm -hmm. Where does Where does Sander think he's running to? I'm gonna go drag him. The mall. <laughs> so go. He's going to go. The NKOTB just released their latest album. Oh, that joint is fierce. Is that Sam Goody? That he's up. running to Sam Goody? Yeah. <laughs> trying to get the vinyl. He's just running to go get help. He's he's going to go try to get the cops because these people are attacking him. Uh, let's see. Beginning of my turn, place a shadow. Yeah, I'll put one on you. Can you feel the darkness encroaching? Feel the darkness. The darkness is coming. It's so dark. It's so dark. It's so blurry. <laughs> it's just cider. Dark cider. <laughs> How dark is it? Okay. Just stab me in the back right out here. Ah. Let's see. So I think, um, yeah. Oh, yeah? Yeah. 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 This is what I'm going to do to you. I am going to attack Buffy. <laughs> the buff. Spike to Buffy. Okay. Ready? Yeah. Pretty high. Oh, four, four. Ooh. But um, uh, this my ability is during combat. If Spike or the opposing fighter is in a space with a shadow token, I may boost this card. But his isn't a blind boost; it's from my hand. Mm -hmm. uh, I'll add two to the attack. So that's two damage. So it's six. Yeah, it's two. And then you have two damage, and then it, if you won the combat, uh, yeah, you didn't have any combat. So yeah, this guy's a monster. Oh, it's Spike. Yeah. And Neil. Um Your sidekick's lonely. Yeah, she's kinda like just she's a spectator. She's laughing at your guy crawling away, you know, trying to find first aid. Um, uh, let's see. Do they sell bandages at Spencer Gas? I'm sure they do. They're probably funny ones. I guess if you need, if you really need bandages, nothing seems that funny, you know? You got Yodas and shit on them? 
<laughs> okay. Um, I think I'm running out of cards, but maybe not. A maneuver. It's so bad. Uh, I, my side... Not pitch right away. Hey, man. I, after last game, I don't want to lose my sidekick on turn three. Uh, gotta go get some za. <laughs> za. I can't outrun you, but uh, I'm thinking. I'll maneuver again. Come on. Let's go. Let's go talk over here. Gotta run a la. Run a la. A la. Run a la. Yep. Your turn, brah. Brah. So I can move off the, the clouds, right? Yeah, so no, they, the, the, they only affect, like, like they make certain of my attacks stronger if you're on them or if I'm on them. What are your, uh, any thoughts on this set? What do you think, Jeff? You like it? Yeah, I think you're. I think you might be right about what you were saying earlier, as far as the power ramp thing. Power creep. It seems like yeah. maybe just oh, watch the board. Oh, yeah, uh, right there, right there. You're good. Okay. Yeah, you know they do that to. I've seen it in games time and time again. It's because they want to maintain interest. You know, everybody's like, "Ooh, I'll play him now." You know. Yeah, magic was the same way. Oh yeah, magic's terrible about that. Like, there's so many. You know, you know, I'm. I still play a arena, and they. And they ban competitive cards in, in, uh, they ban cards in competitive formats like all the time still. Why? Just because they're not, they're they're broken. They're 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 mm -hmm. unfair. Oh, okay. Know? Yeah. Well, isn't that what makes the game more fun? Yeah, I mean, you you know, there's different. I mean, some people just play anything goes, any card. But in stamp, you know, yeah. I'll be the really sweaty guy with the black lotus. Yeah. <laughs> I'll be. Yeah, that's a that's a real challenge in any of these games that have expansion. Well, you know, you know, keeping keeping the new stuff in line with the old stuff, so you can, you know, you know, and especially just any game that I mean, HeroClix was like that. Yeah, they the, updated those characters constantly, and they remember? and they got stronger and stronger. Yeah, but what happens is, uh, you know, they're trying to maintain interest because if new characters are like, oh, look, and he's did, nothing did, special, then didn't people... HeroClix eventually get rid of the color thing, and they were just all one person, one character? The yellow, the blue, and the red. Did they get rid of that? Oh, I yeah. Mean, so, yeah, like the rookie, the experienced, yeah. and the, and and the veteran them, like, characters. Blind, right? yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, uh, you know, they want people to be excited about new content. But yeah, it's... And it's, any game, like especially games like this, where it's asymmetric, where each character has got unique powers, you just see that a lot. But, sure. but I gotta say, I mean, like, even though there's a little bit of balancing issues in this game, it's not broken. I mean, you can win with just about, I, you can win with anyone. You know. Alright, that was it for me. It's you, I just maneuvered twice. Oh, you're going kind of like... Xander to the purple. You're gonna go lick your wounds. Let's see. Um, okay, I'll maneuver. I'm gonna maneuver, but I'm I'm not actually moving. I'm just gonna stay. Just gonna stay. Yeah. Right. You know, I was reading an article, uh, like where they were talking about, like, uh, you know, it was people just uh, on a message board ranking the characters in this game, and uh, uh, apparently Medusa, like people say, she just like in, oh, like, like in competitive play, she that. comes out on top quite a bit. Um, as far as like the you know the 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 early characters, people say King Arthur, he's kind of hard to win with, and I've seen it too. But you know, it'll be interesting to see as they add more and more characters, like how it shakes things up too. You know, so I will attack for my second, second move. Uh, what is it? A Buffy to, buffy uh, to spike. spike. Hmm. Okay. Okay. I got Cruel Intentions. Who are you? Yeah, you ever see that, that movie? I did. I'm, I, I mean, I, I'm aware of it, but I haven't seen it. It has a lesbian kiss in it. So yeah. I'm aware. Oh, with her? Yeah. 
Oh, I might have to check that out. Uh, let's see. Um, okay, so you're attacking me. Looks like you got me. Uh, ooh. Oh, it's like it's the daring strike. It's like all in. Mm -hmm. That's kind of interesting because if you lose, you take a damage. It's kind of like a high risk, high reward. But card. you gotta do it with him. But I, but I cancel that. You just deal me two right. damage. So Spike takes two damage. So and I draw two cards. No, no, I, I, canceled I canceled it. it. So yeah, there we go. Yeah, there you go, buddy. Yeah, call. Cool. That was it. Am I nah, on? Am I on? It. Is it my scene? Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Beginning of my. Um, so I will go ahead and place this under you. No, 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 you're bringing so the if smoke. I don't... He brought the smoke. I don't want the smoke. Mm. I like it raw. Let's see. I mean, I like it raw. <laughs> I like it raw. Okay, so, um, You're gonna like this again. No, I'm gonna, not. You probably, oh, you you probably won't you're like it. You're gonna attack Xander? No, I'm gonna make you show me your hand and discard two cards because one of your fighters is. Why don't I just give you a couple cards? Oh, no, 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 no. That's okay, bud. <laughs> what you got there, bud? What about a Fast Times at Richmond High game? Expansion for this or its own game? I think, but well, dude, you know, I'm sure we could something. You go nowhere and everybody fits. I, you know, I, I could definitely, I'd like a Judge Reinhold major. Can you do that? Would the obstacle be uh, Judge, Ron, Judge Reinhold uh, finding a job that fits and Spicoli finding a lid and Phoebe Cates finding a good boyfriend? Yeah, everybody in that movie was looking for something. They so. were. Yeah. I guess it could be like, yeah, quite rat, 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 rat endlessly chases Jennifer Jason Lee. And, 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 and uh, Damone sucks you might have like a surfing mini game like like Demon's dream a little sequence the a little bit yeah. <laughs> uh if you can blow a lot on van halen um wow okay um spike is going to attack buffet mm -hmm. okay what do we have? At yours is an after combat. Ooh, cool. You know, I think I'll go ahead and boost. Because during combat, if Spike with the opposing fighter is in a space with a shadow token, I may boost this card. So my uh, attack uh, is boost. now seven. Seven so against the two. So I give five. you five on Buffy. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Uh, but you get you get your cartwheel kick. This is your defensive move. Uh, so you may move Buffy up to three spaces, then deal one damage to each opposing fighter adjacent to her. So you could, you could either you, you could damage. kick him or you could go run over and kick Priscilla. I'm kicking him. Kicking him. Priscilla don't matter. She just she's a non-factor. Well, you know, you win the game when you knock out the main player. Yeah, you so know. one one on one. Yep. He's he's learning. Learning. No, I'm retaining. <laughs> that's better. Yeah, that's even better, I guess. <laughs> okay, so I uh, burned my whole hand there, so I'm wide open. Yeah, no more hand. Well, I got one card, but that's all I got. Is this it? You're going to redeem yourself? Yeah. I think I'm one way or the other, this, these Buffy and... Buffy and Spike are just, they're just in your face smacking you up. This game isn't going to last very long. I'm attacking Spike. Attacking with, with Buffy. Buffy. Okay, I got a defense. Got a defense. Let's do it. Oh, okay. NA? Oh, so you cancel mine. Well, you hit me for one. So. Yeah. I would have I drawn cards, so. Am I up? No, no, I got You've one. You've got one more? I'm wide open, so whatever you got. Yeah, I'll attack again. Spike. Just go ahead and throw it up there. It's just one, oh. and I get to draw two cards. Yeah, because you won the combat. That's cool, and you deal me another damage. That's right, Spike. We're going to duke it out. That's it for me, so I ain't moving anywhere, so. Well, I think I'm going to... Uh... You can't do anything. You have to stay there and take it. Yeah, and actually... 
You mentioned I can look something <laughs> up regarding Spike's uh, special ability here. Let's see if they... Special ability is to stand there and take it. <laughs> Oh, that was the rule for blind oh, the shadows. Yeah. Okay. No, I was just wondering if if all if I've already used up my tokens, if I still have my ability to place it, and it says, yeah, you can just move one of the existing ones. Oh, yeah, no. he, that's strong. He he's a good character. I'm, I mean, I might need to practice with him a little bit, but he's. Well, I guess you have to draw cards to maneuver. I've yeah, got a maneuver, yeah. so that's what we're gonna do. Okay, so I'll maneuver. Uh, what do you spike there? <laughs> You're like the. He's moving into the land of watermelon. Where was I? I was here, right? Around here. Whatever. Man, I'm not gonna. Whatever. And I, th gonna... I think you were there. But yeah. Yeah, I'm not gonna second guess myself. Yeah. yeah. Dude, this reminds me of watermelon, doesn't it? Everything looks like candy in this game. Yeah, it's just the colors. <laughs> that especially. Uh, though, yeah, I'm I'm done, done man. I just did two maneuvers. You're up, buddy. Yeah. Back. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Stay mm. I think you're right though that we do need a, a Burt Reynolds and Dom DeLuise. Cannibal Run, Burt Reynolds and Dom DeLuise. And we need wacky races. There is a wacky races game. It it looks it looks cool. Yeah, it's like a little race game, like like Mario Kart with like the weapons and stuff. It's cool. Okay, um attack spike. Buffy to spike? Uh-huh. Are they adjacent? Yeah. yeah, there's a there's a little line. Okay. okay, I got a defense card. This looks good. Okay, cool. All right, so Buffy, after combat, regains one health. Uh, so it's a three against a three. No damage, but no I regain damage, a but you you regain a health, okay. and then uh, well, actually, I, mine should have gone first, but it doesn't matter. Uh, I deal. <laughs> now you can just take that health that you got. Uh, and then you right deal. How many? I deal one damage to the opposing fighter, then deal an additional one damage for each space with a shadow token adjacent to that fighter. Uh, so, so you take just one. Yeah, you, no uh, two token. clicks total. Two clicks of damage total. Okay. Yeah. So you gained one and then lost two. Right. Well, that didn't work. Oh. Yeah. I like it. I like it. Yeah. Like, good man. All right. Uh, that was it? That was it. Okay. Um, Go pick on Xander. <laughs> Xander. I'm going, to, I'm going to maneuver. I went this way. You moved me. Oh, what? Sorry. You can move me. You can move me again. Um, uh, so what's going on here? And then then for my second move, I'm going to go ahead and play a scheme. It's uh, scheme. Speak the Shadows. I draw two cards. Mm -hmm. And then place a shadow token in spike space and each space adjacent to it. He's already got one. You. And one for you. Where is that other one? Wasn't there three of them? Oh, yeah, that's three. Okay. And. Uh, that was a, a move, maneuver and then a scheme. So if you. Schemes and schemes. Schemes within schemes. Schemes uh, that span eons. I'm going to attack. You are? Oh, wait, Thanks. wait, wait. Wait, no, no. I'll attack Buffy with what's your name. You're going to attack Jason. Buffy? You're doing my work for me? That's right. I'm attacking Buffy with Buffy. No, I'll attack. Um, Is Buffy, like, she's not into self-harm, right? She's not 
hurting herself? She's okay, right? Does she need to talk to somebody? I don't know. I think there's a hotline. Okay. Um, I'm going to attack uh, your sidekick with Buffy. Oh, Buffy to Drusilla. Uh huh. I got one. All right. Let's okay. do it. Oh, you kicked the crap out of her. And I so, deal you one damage. Player strength. Player. Season's um, in the abyss, dude. War ensemble. Try it. <laughs> so uh, I take three damage. And then you take another one, don't you? And then uh, Spike well, takes one too, right? Probably a whole bunch of things. Happen. Because uh, deal one damage. You're doing, you're, you're doing fighter, Drusilla, right? Right. Cause we'll I'm get to that. Because my after combat ability. No, I'm jumping ahead of you. Yeah. Uh -huh. After combat, draw a card. If I had one, I'd draw two, but I only draw one. So, uh, and I, then can, you, I can move both of you. You may move can... all fighters adjacent to Buffy to another space in their zone. Then deal one damage to each fighter you moved. Oh, she's like, she just like sends them all. Like, I can sprawl. move to any space in the zone? Yeah. Uh, the, the, so I can move you there? In, uh, it's got to be in... In their zone, yeah. So oh, you move her there. Right? Yeah, you kick them. You kick them all the way and down the hallway, and then him there, there, right there, and then they each take one damage. Wow. That's pretty cool. Yay! I'm thinking strategies is a Jason. Yeah, that's pretty. That's neat. I like that. That was good. Satisfying. You could man. That that sets up all kinds of like tactical possibilities for when you just like need to get people away from you or need to. That was the finger poke of death. You know, again, like in a, what you could do in a, if you were playing a, a two on two, like a team, a four player game, is you could have her knock them, and then put them, set them up for your teammate to hit them. Right. Yeah. 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 Me melee. Yeah. Or just kind of like pinball ball. them across the across the. <clears throat> yeah. Pinball game. wizard. Show baby. <laughs> Was that everything there? Is it my turn? Uh, no, I actually do one more. You got one I? more? Yeah. Is that your first move? I think it was. I think it was. Yeah, you never moved. Yeah, you I'm didn't do a right. maneuver. So. Yeah. so I guess I'll maneuver my next one. Okay. Our memory's this bad now. I have an excuse. We all have excuses. It doesn't mean they're good ones. Uh, mm -hmm. All right. Well, there's no reason to put a shadow token on me. So. Looks like Spike smells. Oh, it's maneuver. Oh, sorry. Perfect. This map doesn't. It likes to lay on the other. Like it likes. Oh no! Yeah, it fits better it. when when we have the map on the other side. Mm -hmm. Does it uh, work? Yeah, a little bit. Okay, a little bit. Oh, the Scorsese game, which is all the movies. That was that was Colin. Like, like the, that was Colin Quinn doing his impersonation of Robert De Niro. How about the, how about the many degrees of De Niro, which is oh, the I, taxi driver De Niro, the Mean Streets De Niro, taxi driver versus the, the meet, Goodfellas, the Casino, like meet the parents De Niro. You just go, you no, just get. We like, even get into that area. <laughs> Analyze this De Niro. Oh, it, it's the same as the Goodfellas De Niro, Thanks. but funny. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Let's... They're all the same character. Gangster. <laughs> so you, you moved them, and so you got one more. Okay. Cool. Yeah, I got one more. Trying to back, back action. Uh, yeah, I'm going to do another maneuver. Okay. Uh -huh. Go get to the stairwell. Yeah. Xander. Boy, we're all over this map, aren't we? Yeah. Xander had that planned all along. He wanted you to come. 
I gotta say, one of the things I really like about this expansion is the maps. The maps are interesting. There's there's a lot of places to hide, to run away. They make you want uh, tart, sweet tarts. <laughs> yeah. And it looks like candy. And esprits or whatever they're called. Anyway, it's your turn, bud. Uh, Bub. You know what? I'll, I'll attack Spike with Xander. You might as well. Yeah, okay. Uh, okay. I yeah. don't think that's a spike. I'm just making sure I'm playing powerful. a powerful. Ooh, four. Oh, skirmish, skirmish, huh? Skirmish. Any. Oh, that's so you can use it. Yeah, you can. That's right. Okay, so it looks like you won the combat. So first we'll we'll take it one step at a time. First you deal spike one damage. Ooh, he's down to five. He's getting hurt. Right, spike. Take off. Take off, Hoser. And then uh, I was the defender, so my after combat ability goes first. Deal one damage to the opposing fighter, then deal an additional one damage to each space with a... Sh for, for each space with a shadow token. If I had shadow tokens around, you'd take more damage. Yeah. But yeah, he takes one. Ooh, he's down to one hit point. It was worth it. You're going to just go after him now anyway. So. Yeah, no, at least he got a hit in. Mm -hmm. I mean, That's what I figured. And then I do I draw two cards? Uh, and then you're, is if you won the combat, which you did, move one of the fighters in the combat up to two spaces. Oh, so you move can, one. You can, you can move Xander or you can move Spike. Two spaces. It has to be like a legal move, like they were moving. Hmm. Hit and run. Might as well. It's a good spot, surrounded by shadows. Well, I mean, you know. Shadows are going to engulf you, Jason. I get it. I just hate sidekicks. I always go for them first, even though it sometimes costs me the game. It's the Robin. It's the Robin syndrome. You know, you I punch him in the face. I called the number three times to kill Jason Todd back in the eighties. Did you? Yes, I did. You did? Yeah, because he. All, had all my, joking aside. He, yeah, he was a whining bitch. He was Robin, and he had my name three times. Oh, <laughs> that's where strikes walk, right? <laughs> I really did. I called the number three times. Were you, and they killed was it was it gratifying? And then they brought. I'm him gratified. Back. Were you when they killed him? I was gratified for about 15 years, and they brought him back to the Red Hood. But but no, but that day that when you saw he died, were you just like walking on sunshine? I have the issue hanging up on my wall. Oh, and it's not because you're memorializing the character; it's because you're celebrating his death. I can't remember that. See, yeah, I never knew that. I saw that comic on he your wall. He was such a snot. I thought you liked him. He was. The only purpose of that character was like finding out Two Face killed his dad, and he had no point whatsoever. He after just that. there was. He was just just a whiny little bitch, and he's still a whining bitch. Is he still in the comics? Yeah, he's the Red Hood. Oh, he's, he's Red Hood. He's part of the Bat family. He's mm -hmm. like really in the comics. Oh, okay. Know? Him and him and Barbara have an off and on. Again. Do you do you still hate him now that he's Red Hood? I don't read the comics. Oh, okay. Now, well, I mean, so you know, I, I just know in general. Back when he was Robin, though, I couldn't stand him when I was a kid. I never knew that. I learned stand something there. Jason Todd. So it's your turn. Yeah. Right. Um. She's like running out of breath. She just sits there. Yeah, yeah. It's like a horror movie. I'm running. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Good thing I didn't trip. Uh, let's it's see. It's like Scary Movie 3. Anyhow, now I'm just getting you to chase me around. Boy. Hello. Um, I thought about attacking, but I think I'm going to try something a little bit different. I am going to play a scheme. Seek the Shadows. So I draw two cards. Just the card draw is nice. Uh, and then place a shadow token in Spike Space and every space of Jason. So Xander gets. Oh. And yeah, I guess I'll put that one there just so in case Buffy wants to get in there. Okay. And that was it. It was a maneuver and then a scheme. So it's your turn.
Oh yeah, we were talking earlier about uh, some of the new content coming out for this game in 2021. Uh, so it looks like next up is a two-pack with Red Riding Hood and Beowulf. Which, okay. That's mm -hmm. <laughs> Uh, and then uh, later next summer, there's going to be like four Marvel packs of characters. Looks like we got some cool stuff. I, I know they said something about Moon Knight, Ghost Rider, um, Luke Cage, Winter Soldier, Black Widow, uh, uh, Black Panther, Squirrel Girl. Rawhide Kid. Yeah. Still yep. Man. No Still Man, no Rawhide. No humbug. Rocket. No humbug. Rocket racer. No rocket racer. No Pro slap. No slapstick. Toad. No, no toad. Cloak and dagger. That would be cool if it was cloak and dagger. No, cloak and dagger uh, is going to be in the. They're in the set that has. Um, that actually makes sense. The teenage set. There's a teenage theme set. Cloak and teleport. Maybe. It's like Miss Marvel, Squirrel Girl, Cloak and Dagger. I think there's someone else. It's a regular A Force. And I'm guessing, if I had to guess, his shadow ability is going to work similar to Spider. Yeah, he can yeah. teleport people. Yeah. You know? Oh, that would be cool if yeah, because get his cloak and he can transport people. Yeah, yeah, he'll be he'll play something like a cross between Spike and Invisible Man, probably, where he can run from one token to the next. Yeah, I forgot about that. Yeah, yeah. I was scared. Yeah, where the, were we? Did you go? Gauntlet Did you just he... do anything? Uh, no, I moved twice. Oh, you so moved twice. Sure. Okay. Sure. Okay. I moved out of the shadows. Bree, bree, bree. He, he, my friend, bree. Well, that wasn't out of the shadows. That was uh. What we do in the shadows? That what was the 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 show of theirs? Oh, uh, Flight of the Concord. Yeah, me, you great bree, show. My friend, bree. They ever have a like a music off with them and like Tenacious D? No, they never do. <laughs> they should have. You're just gonna keep moving away. Run away. Well, no, I was <laughs> I was going after your guy. Like we're kind of dancing a little I bit. I think this she should attack Buffy. Yeah, maybe she will. I don't know. I'm not ruling anything out. Everything's on the table. Um, Plot in a way. I was kind of thinking. I was just thinking. So I can't really to, corner you because you guys are faster than me. So I'll figure out the best way to get to Xander. Yeah, you know, you you're gonna be able to outmaneuver me. So hmm. All right. Um I guess I'll uh, maneuver. I won't have to start discarding cards. It's not a problem I usually have. It's usually the opposite. I have to move out of your clouds. And I think I'm going to go ahead and boost this move. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and uh, boost their movement there. So they're going to move four. Boost their limit of six. Four. Maybe it's like. Oh, you just had this staircase. Yeah. Two, and then that, that goes under that other line there. Three. Really? 
Yeah. That does count? See, yeah. See see that okay. one right there? No, no. I'm yeah, funny because one was bold. There's another one. Yeah. There's another okay. one over here. Yeah. yeah it's like no, no, you yeah. know what it is? Is this because, the, yeah, they go it's down a balcony under. Yeah, and it goes that? you go underneath. Yeah. 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 It's it's another reason I was saying, like, I like these maps because there's some cool stuff sure, on them. Sure, sure. But you have to follow it though. You have to you like, have you to follow the lines. Yeah. yeah. So it's it makes it like you really gotta this map and the other one, the Sunnydale High, like I noticed you have to think about your move. It's not just running up and attacking there's a lot of uh mm -hmm. places to run and hide um so that was it i moved and then i guess i'll have drusilla attack uh xander Zanderborg. yeah 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 okay i got it Yeah, one of the things I've discovered playing this game is if you can avoid like having to discard down to seven cards, do it because that is like every card counts. Every card that goes in your discard pile just brings you one step closer to, to being exhausted. Okay, here we go. That's okay. So I have a four against a two. You cancel my card, it's just two damage. Mm -hmm. Two damage on uh, is he gone? Yeah, he's gone. Okay. No more Zandy. Okay, well, that's cool. Uh, that was two. I That was a move and then an attack. So. Okay. Now what? <laughs> How about that, huh, buddy? How about that? Did you draw? Yes. Then I'll... Uh... You will, will you? I will. Um, okay. That's the four. Mr. Pointy. That's the four. It's spiking mm -hmm. and it just one damage. There's okay. nothing else. So yep. Spike. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, how much? Oh, it's a close game. It's six to four. Yeah, six to four. But I've got seven total health. You've got six. We're like, if you add up characters, it's only a one point difference right now. That's another thing I really like about this game. And, you know, if you've been watching, you'll, there's very seldom like a complete blowout. The games do tend to be close. You don't, you know, it's pretty rare to just have one side just get completely routed. Am I up? Is yeah. it, am I on? Is it my seam? It's a seam, man. <laughs> Um, so, start of my turn, I'll place a shadow token adjacent, and um, I will go ahead and uh, attack uh, Buffy. Um, ooh. Got something for me? No, uh -uh. I got nothing. Oh. Yeah. The three against a one. Um, oh, but if Spike or the opposing fighter, this is uh, the rush. So mm -hmm. uh, three attack, but if Spike or the opposing fighter is in a space with a shadow token, the value of this card is five instead, so it's so four damage. So we're down to two on Buffy now. Ooh, and, but you get to draw a card. I think this is just about. Mm -hmm. uh, and I'm gonna go ahead and maneuver and get her up in the fight, or at least block. Oh, yeah, I can't block your exit, but um. Yeah, that was it. Your turn. I'll uh, add movement, right? If I discard this. Uh, so you move, and then you can. So your movement is six, mm -hmm. you, and you can move through my guys if you want to run. Yeah. You need cards, don't you? Yeah. <laughs> oh no, I, it would be easier. You let's see. You were here, right? Yeah. You want to get? Are you trying to get as far from me as possible? Yeah. So you go one, two, three, four, five, six. You could even make it as far as. Okay, there. let's do that. Yeah. And did I draw a card? 
I wasn't paying attention. Uh -huh. No, you didn't. So. Yeah. And, uh, and you can I, move again if I you want. Move. move again. Mm. You don't have to move. I mean, no, you I'll, wanna, I'll move then. You go, okay. Yeah, we're good. Okay. Um, I'm going to go ahead and maneuver. Now I'm just going to be chasing you around the map, but that's okay. You would think uh, one more attack on me would spike, and it's over. So. Um, so that was one. And... You know, I, ne I didn't really think about it, but that uh, the the fact that I can't corner you, that's a good ability that Buffy has. Mm. Um, makes sense. It's stealthy mm -hmm. mode, you know, makes sense. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'll just do it again. I'll move again. That's it, your turn. You know, I like the fact that you have to draw a card every time you want to move because it means running will only get you so far. You'll run out of cards if you just spend the whole game running. You know, I'll, I'll attack Spike. Spike? Yeah. Okay. Ooh, three with strike. Um, okay, so um, it, you didn't attack me, or I mean, you didn't damage me um, for my after combat. If I won the combat, move one of the fighters in the combat up to two spaces. I'm not going to move anybody, but you can move uh, Buffy up to four spaces. All right. <laughs> well, you know. Yeah, no, it's gonna cool. strategize. Strategize, man. Are you just gonna run away? You're, you're gonna run from your problems your whole life, Jason. Until I get a five defense card, then I'll come after you. All your five defense cards are I in the know, discard pile. Yeah, Let's see. I you're really gonna make me your, do this? Your next attack on me, it's it's over. So I gotta move. Yeah. I'm well, only, I'm at fifty. Over. <laughs> Here we go. Um, and maneuver. And I'm done. We still have to be the same color for me to attack you, right? No, 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 because we're adjacent. We're adjacent. If they're adjacent, that, that's only for ranged attacks, and no, none of these fighters have ranged attacks, so it doesn't matter anyway. Okay, well, here, I'll attack Spike. Okay. Mm, okay, I got it. Okay. Three against the four, uh, but you, let's see, leap away if I won the combat move either. Choose either fighter in the combat and move them up to four spaces. Um, Are you going to move me? I think I'm going to move you next to Drusilla. And then do I get And then you back? recover a health. Yeah, I'm up to three. Do you have a move left? Do you have another action or was mm -hmm. that it? No, I have one more. Okay. Left. Actually, we have more. Uh, you have... You can just like run out the uh, the clock on me here because my deck is low. I uh, all that card draw with those Drusilla cards. I'll attack Drusilla. Drusilla, okay. Hmm. 
Okay. Four against the two, and I cancel your cards. That's just two damage on your four. Okay. So I can move her now? Uh, I can move myself or her, right? No, I canceled that. Because you canceled that. Okay. So that's my turn. Okay. Yeah, Drusilla was one of the names of the sisters in Cinderella. Oh, I didn't remember that. Wow, no, I didn't. That's a good memory. Disney guy. Yeah, I know. Okay. I've been at the theme park 50 times in my life. Okay, uh, Drusilla is going to attack Buffy. You got a defense card for me? I think I do. All right, so interesting. So... Uh, always surprising uh, during combat. Blind boost this card, and if Drusilla's space has a shadow token, which it does, double the boost value. So it goes from one, two, three, four. It's a five. Mm -hmm. I think that's game. That's game. Yeah. yeah, nice one. Yeah, man. both games were close. Yeah, I mean, it, they, they could have like they were both down to the wire. Uh, uh, you know, I like I kind of like Buffy. She she's a really good hit and run character. It was, it was just a pain in the ass trying to corner her. But anyway, uh, we'll wrap it up. Uh, just to recap everybody, um, very soon we should be playing Street Fighter the Miniatures game. Very excited to bring that to you. In That'll the be about January, right? Hopefully. Expected. Uh, but in the meantime, we've got a whole bunch of other new games that we'd like to play and show you. So uh, until then, I'm Waylon. Jason.